Okay, what we want to do for this look, we're going to start out with just putting a little bit of Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I don't use this often, um, but because we're putting so many different layers on, I just went on and used it. All right. The first thing I want to do, this is optional if you do have it. This is a paint pot in Let's Skate. It's a really shimmery paint pot that's limited edition. If you don't have it, you could skip this because we're going to just layer it anyways. So we just want to put this all over the lid because we're going to use a lot of glitter. Just like so. What I'm going to do take NYX pencil and milk. Put it in my inner, just the inner corner, just like that. Take the brush and this is so the yellow color can stick. Blend it out. This is also a old discontinued color and this color is a shade stick in Lucky Ooh, I think Lucky Jade, I don't know, the um, writing is wore off. But um, if you don't have this, NYX also have a lime green pen, um, pencil just like that. Just like the, um, I don't know where it is. I do have it, I just don't know. So I went on to use this one. But we just want to make a green base. I'm going to take a piece of tape. And stick it right here. Just like so. And I really couldn't tell, so this is going to be my interpretation of what Evelyn had on in her um, interview. I just absolutely fell in love with it. Okay, so the first color that I'm going to take is Going Bananas. And it's just the yellow color um, by MAC, just with a flat brush. I'm going to stick that in the inner corner on top of this white milk. Just like that, and kind of sweep it onto the lid just a little bit. And she has is very bright. The next color that I want to take is another matte color, and it's bitter. And it's just a matte lime green with that same brush. Just flip it over. I'm going to put this on the whole lid. Just packing this lime green color on because this is what you're going to see through the glitter. Just like that. So, the next thing I want to do, I'm just going to add just another green. This is Lucky Green um, by MAC. Let me guess what it is. Lucky Green, yep. Still with that same brush, I'm just going to add it on the outer corner. Just like so. And when I was going through my pigment stash, I realized that I had this NYX pigment. You could totally just use this, but since I did that for this eye, I went on and did it again. So I'm going to add this. It's called Jade Pearl by NYX. I just put it on the back of my hand. Still using that same brush. It just give a pretty sheen on top of that matte. We're not going to really cover up too much of this matte green. We're just going to add it like in the middle part. And it just gives a pretty like green sheen. In her crease, she doesn't really have a lot going on. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and take this color right here, which is called Swiss Chocolate by MAC. And just a fluffy brush. We're just going to blend out those greens that we added on. Stopping at that yellow. We don't want to really 
go too far in because her crease is really not too much. It's a subtle, a subtle. So we just want to keep on just defining that green. Okay, I think that should be okay for now. For my brow highlight, you can definitely use rice paper, rice paper by Mac. But since I use Foxy for it out of my Naked Two palette, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same thing on the other side. Again, that that's Foxy, and it's just um like um it looks like rice paper. Trying to look in the camera and do this. It's a little difficult. Go back with that same fluffy brush and just blend it out. It's that simple. Now it's time for the fun part the glitter so as you can see I don't know if the camera is picking it up but I have a really sparkly green and I mix a combination of I use these stackable glitters I one day was doing craft and I was like hmm I wonder if I could use these glitters um, from Hobby Lobby and they're really fine milled glitter so I took this green glitter here as a lime green I took reflex pro by Mac and I kind of combined it all with this urban decay um, heavy metal glitter liner so I'll show you what I did first I took this LA splash glitter well, it's a sealer, but you could use it as glitter. I just barely tapped that on um, over the lid. Just to get the lid so the glitter can have something to stick to. That same flat brush that we apply the shadows with. Ooh, where did I put it at? <clears throat> okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take the wet, you want to wet your brush with something. I'm going to just go ahead and use this um, mixing medium for MAC. But you can wet your brush with water or Visine or anything you have. Or Fix Plus. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding the glitter not going all the way over to that yellow and not going above the crease so I apply that green first the next color I'm going to just go over it just a little bit with Ref reflex pearl just a little but I will take that reflex pearl uh, just a little bit over the yellow right there not too much And I went back with this heavy metal because it has green reflex, if you can see that. And I just went over it like that, just like so. I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, in pictures, you'll be able to see it. I'm going to let that dry. Not too much touching it. We just want to go back around the edges and blend out the glitter and whatever so it won't be in the crease. Go ahead and remove your tape. And I couldn't really see. I kept rewinding um, as much as I could. At first, I just did it earlier with my own interpretation on it, and it was a little dark. So, I'll go ahead and clean up this. Um... 
now that I saw it was like a bright lime green, I thought it would be fun to add a purple. I, she doesn't really have too much going on at the bottom lash line, but I decided to add a purple. So I'm going to take Max Purple in Rich Purple. It's just a chroma line. And I'm going to just add just a little bit at the bottom. Kind of meeting it up with that going bananas yellow. Just like that. And on top of it with a pointy brush, I'm going to take and add... This is Shockaholic by MAC and it looks like this with a pointy brush and I'm just going to set that purple. Just like that. And I'm just going to very very lightly um, put a little black not a lot just slightly like that so I'm going to go ahead and add my lashes I don't know if you can see them right there and I'm going to use the Demi's and 102 by um Ardell and they look like that and I'll be back and show you the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm back. I went on and added my lashes and... Now, I'm going to show you the face, what I used on my face. I used Optimistic Orange Blush, just like that. Just dab my fingers and just did a few little things to get it. And on top of that, I added Hot Mama. And it's by The Balm. And it looks like this. Very pretty like corally pinky color and for my lips I use two things I'll use Maker Forever's number 37 which looks like this and I topped it off with Revlon's Parcelain Pink and got this color so I fell in love with this makeup look when I saw it on her and I thought I wanted to recreate it and put a little spin on it and do it my way. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.